Well, it's uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, a new version which I've written, um, which very much places Sleeping Beauty as the hero at the end, uh, when she saves the day. Um, some new cast members, uh, which is very nice, and new, new, uh, refreshing the company in that way. Um, uh, company of about 20, 23 on stage, which is very nice and very exciting. Go ahead, just a jump to the left. Um, Sleeping Beauty this year, um, and I shall be playing Tweedy, as I normally do in the pantomime. Um, and I'm an inventor in Sleeping Beauty, so I'm going to come up with a few inventions. Wendy's back this year, Wendy Abrahams, who's, you know, is terrific. Wendy hasn't done a show with us for a couple of years. Uh, very, very talented, very skilled, uh, and it's good to see her back, uh, back in the company in a completely different role, playing the good fairy. Very glad to be back. It's a beautiful theatre, and I know all the crew and all the staff that work there. So, And it's my hometown, of course, so it's great to be back here in Cheltenham again. Your voice thing, let's just say... Um, I am fairy hysteria. <laughs> oh, I love it, yeah. I've played Principal Boy for many years, um, and the first time I played the villain, I wasn't sure if I would like to be booed. I thought I've been, I was so used to being, you know, hello, boys and girls. And actually, I now think if I haven't made at least one child cry and have to be removed from the auditorium, I haven't done my job properly. <laughs> yeah, there's much more meat on the bad, isn't there? Yes, it's more fun to be bad at. Wendy is beautiful as the good fairy, but it's not a role I've ever wanted to play. I've always wanted to be the bad. You go that way, that so way. I go that way. Right, I say yeah. you go. Yeah, that you see, you go that, that way, way, and I go that way. Yeah, that's fine. So if I go, you go that way, way. and I'll go this way. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is your idea. Shh. We need to find the prince. Yes. It's all right. He's here. Come on, come on, prince. Come on. Oh, oh that's oh, a good point. He's dropping somewhere over here. Yes. Yes. This will be my fifth year yeah. um, of doing Panto in Cheltenham, so you like and it, I love yeah. it. I do love it. What I love coming like in for three months. I love Cheltenham. I love working with the people. I love working with Phil. Um, everybody at the theatre is very friendly um, and welcoming, which is really, really lovely. And to be somewhere like that at Christmas, I think that's kind of important. Mm. It's just such good fun. and. You kind of have the chance to have a lot of play, be a little bit naughty, um, and the audience is very much in on the joke, because normally you never get to have that relationship with an audience, as always. The fourth wall's up, so you never see, or you never sort of look at them, but with the panto you have direct contact, and that's a lot of fun. One, two, three, you ain't the part of it. Circle of Life, which I will play you a bit of, 
is as you'd expect the circle like we've got a chime there because obviously the chimes of midnight are on their way introduction some dialogue from the king and then the chorus will sing the circle of life here and people know what to expect exactly. and they come for that reason obviously mm. they go well i enjoyed that last year and you know hopefully there'll be more of it again mm. so people don't like too much of a, a change anyway and, and uh, I always feel that the, the dame has to come out of you as well. It can't be too much of an acting job, as it were, yeah. you know, um, because it, it has to be your personality. Yes, yeah, so I jump with a cross to the left. They jump to the left. Okay. You stay with them. You go left, do the if you if you watch Tweedy, he's a very fine actor. Mm. Um, uh, there might be very little word spoken, but the script that he writes and the way that he constructs drama within his act is very skillful. Um, so I think he is a very fine actor, a very fine actor. Sleeping Beauty has been raised by Nanny Nice Hands, played by Willie Elliot, and um, so have I. So um, we're kind of we're not. I suppose we're half brother and half sister. I think they say that at some point in the script. Um, I kept automatically calling Willie Mum because he's been my mum in the last two pantomimes. And then we suddenly thought, well, he's not really my mum. But then he did raise me, so I got away with it. So it's all right. If, if you watch him, he's, he's terrific. So, um, and I think that's what interests me about working with someone like Tweedy is he genuinely wants to develop. He wants new. He wants to try things out. He doesn't. He, he, as a performer, he can't stay still. He can't. St and and I think that's really exciting when 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 he develops in that way. Well, you have to wait and see, won't you? <laughs> Doing the time To the left. I never step to the 